Okay, it's demo time. <laughs> demo time. Um, so today uh, we'll be showing um, everyone three um, agents or people trying to communicate with each other uh, on a one-to-one, person-to-person um, basis. So um, yeah, let's run the demo. And... Okay, so uh, let's make uh, three users first. So um, right now we are only thinking of getting the um, username of the agents because um, Holochain already provides this kind of identity mechanism through their public keys. And so um, our idea, especially in Japan, people are sensitive to getting their, giving their pri private uh, information, like um, their, I don't know, like phone numbers especially. And so if we could go just with getting their usernames and allowing them to communicate with each other, I think that would be something um, wonderful because it makes it uh, more private for people who are really sensitive to sharing their information online. So now let's try to give them a username. So this, I would give him Albert and Bobby. And also Clarice. So um, right now we have a contacts tab here. And oh, okay, let's turn them into a smartphone just so it looks like a so yeah, we plan to uh, mainly target mobile applications uh, for Kizuna um, in the first uh, release. And we would like to slowly expand to other platforms as well. So <clears throat> right now, so now let's try to add, so this is Albert, right? And he would be able to add Bobby. So you see here, Bobby, Bobby would be able to, uh, so Bobby is now added to the contacts. And Bobby would now add Albert to his contact. Albert. Okay. Um, and you could also delete contacts right now. So for example, if you'd like to delete someone from your contacts, we just press it. And we're also thinking of um, creating capabilities around this contact. So basically, if you are not in someone's contacts, then we're thinking of not allowing that person to message the other person first. So you would have to um, tell the person to, hey, add me in your contacts first before um, um, we start talking to each other. So let's add them back. Oh, not Albert, but Bobby. And also let's add Clarice. There you go. So Bobby and Clarice are here. And let's add Albert and Clarice. There you go. And for Clarice, let's add Albert. Clarice. Yeah. So as you can see, they all added their contacts. And um, right now, it's not much of a use because there's only two contacts, but you can obviously also search your contacts like that. Uh, yeah, if ever your contacts just grows in list. That's, and the only thing is on the right one, you might want to add Bobby as well. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Clarice added herself. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought I don't want the demo to mess up because. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. thank you, David. There you go. So Bobby added there. So uh, Clarice added Bobby already. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, and look, you can also look at your information here. Um, so this is your public key, and this is your username, and this is how other agents in the network would identify you. So um, let's start messaging each other now, right? So uh, so you can also search here, so it's Bobby. So it says here it's creating a private chat room. So right now our implementation is that each chat room that is being created in Kizuna is isolated from other networks. 
And that means that other people don't even know that that conversation exists. Um, we're for sure we're, we'll implement this for group conversations and for person-to-person, peer-to-peer messaging. Um, we're still thinking we have other alternative ways to do it just in case that creating a new network um, becomes not so um, cheap in terms of cost. So yeah, but for now, this is the solution that we have. And as you can see, Albert pops up here and let's chat. So hi, Bobby. Let's put an emoji there. There you go. Yeah, so this is an actual networking happening. It's just, it's just that it's happening locally. Uh, we're doing this over Sim2H. Um, yeah, over a Sim2H server. So you have a light, nice timestamp there. So, hi, Albert. Um, welcome to Kizuna. Uh, let's make a story here. Uh, Clarice told me that you should message her. She has something to tell you. Oh, sure thing. And then Bobby could go on to his contact and see Clarice there and also message Clarice. There you go. Hi, Clarice. Al, oh, Albert told me to message you. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I wanted to tell you that you forgot your bag of cookies in my place a while ago. Oh no. Well, I can have them. <gasps> nice. Thanks. So, yeah, um, right now the demo that we have is up until here. Um, it allows um, over the network, it allows um, users to send messages to one another. And it also creates a nice little avatar for you based on the username that you pick. And um, for, for now, we're also thinking of a lot, of, a lot of design choices because, for example, right now you don't see any read um, notifs that you usually get in the messaging applications. And you also don't see that typing three dot thing um, that you see when someone is typing. Like if Bobby is typing, usually you would see something here that's typing. And as much as possible, we would like to leave um, this choice to the end user of the application so, um, so that it, it becomes a more user-centric application. Basically, um, if you don't want other people to know that you're typing, then um, it sh we should give them the preference to do so. If they don't want to have the notifs that says your message was read, then um, we would like to give that preference, to, choice of preference to them as well. And apart from that, um, you see a call icon here and we're gonna have a video icon here as well soon. So that's something that we're working on now um, together with the group messaging. So um, all of these are going to be happening on a peer-to-peer -peer network, even a call and video call. We're planning to use WebRTC for that. Um, and um, we're also thinking of a lot of gimmicks kind of features right now. So for example, um, if someone tries to screenshot your conversation, we want our applications to prevent that. Um, basically when you screenshot it, it just becomes a white um, you know, screen and you don't have the messages in your picture. And if you are messaging in a public place, um, you know, like a crowded place like train where people beside you could look at your messages, then it would be nice that if you top your message, then it just becomes blurry. 
so that no one can look at your messages if you don't want them to, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's that, uh, that's what we have right now. And we're also right now working on moving our code base from Holochain Redux to Holochain RSM. And we just want to also say that it has been a very enjoyable experience um, seeing how fast RSM is and how excited the community is. So yeah, we're gonna keep um, working on it. And uh, hopefully the next ecosystem session, we're gonna be able to do some real-time messaging over uh, with you, David, even, you know, like you could start up a little Kizuna interface there and maybe have a message or call. So yeah, that would be- Amazing. <laughs> yeah, so that's the demo that we have.